Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Thank goodness. How are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this. Isn't it? Pray, save your thanks. Tis only just that I should aid you in turn. After all, tis only by your courage that I live today. Had you not leapt between me and that dragon, I know you suffered for it. Such ghastly wounds. And I could not hear your heart beating. It was a miracle that you survived. Arisen? I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated. Though I fear you have no memory of this either. Has he come for you? We are to part so soon, then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then, take care. Everson. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler of Vermin, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. Shall we seek some answers? Say, do you think this one's really a... Oh! Have you some business with the apothecary, sir? Dreadful sorry if I was in your way. Oh, no. I'm not lost or not, sir. You needn't worry yourself on my account. I'm an apothecary in training, you see. My family runs a little shop in Vernworth. So when I had tell of a medicine only to be found in this village, I thought I'd come and fetch some for us. Made the journey all by myself as well, if you can believe it. But, well, as luck would have it, I've not enough gold for the medicine. It will be a shame to return empty-handed after coming all this way. But what more can I do? Suppose there's naught else to be done but make for home. Mayhap I'll browse the shops before I leave. See if I can't find aught else to take back with me. This might be worth a read. A thorough perusal might reveal aught of interest. Ah, well met. Here for some fruit, Roberant, are we? Tween you and me, cuz, they're mighty easy to make. Simple as combining the ingredients, if you know what they are.
Do come again. I don't know Yet what to do. Before, well, Matt, you're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me. Are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vacation. Well now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Tis a vacation for those who seek to master the sword and shield. Fighters favor a balanced approach, excelling in both offense and defense, and can adapt to any situation. I am a fighter myself, and should there come a time when you impress me with your prowess, I might be willing to impart unto you some of what I know. It is a vocation for those who seek to master the mystical arts, magic. Mages can cast a wide array of offensive spells and aid their allies with magical support. However, the more powerful the spell, the longer one must spend in counting it. Thus, a mage is unlikely to last long on the field of battle without allies to protect them. Should you dedicate yourself to a vocation, you will find that new paths to master will open up to you over time. Try them as you like. Very well. There is no wrong choice in any case, but I shan't take up any more of your time. All this hustle and bustle puts me right... Here at the inn, we also offer changes of oak. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something?
The safer the roads, the heavier my pockets. You shan't hear me complain about an early repose. Mayhap this ladder